following our nuclear uh, destroyers. They go from zero to 60,000 miles an hour in an instant. They got video, they got radar, and they got credible eyewitnesses. What are these? If we believe that the Bible is wholly complete, the answer has to be in Scripture. NASA employed 24 theologians. They hired them and said, we need to know the impact on the world's religions when we confirm that we've been talking to aliens since the 40s or 50s, however long. They're really getting ready for this. They're slow feeding us information. Every news show, every television show gets us. I mean, if they come out today and there was a spaceship over New York, everybody would get up tomorrow and go to work. Why? Listen. Almost 70% of born-again Christians say Jesus Christ isn't the only way to God. So it's going to be easy. So here are these watchers. They're going to come back. They're going to tell a story. They're going to say 10,000 years ago or so, we visited Earth. That missing link y'all trying to figure out, you know where, where they went from monkey to man? It's because we, and if you'll read the Sumerian tablets and the Epic of Gilgamesh, if you'll study all that, the oldest civilization we have, it'll tell you. They say, they call them Anunnaki. They come and they created what we are today. Now y'all are about to destroy yourself. So we're coming to fix it. First thing we need is all your guns. <laughs> Second thing we need was need you to acknowledge that Jesus Christ isn't the only way. You see? Third thing we need you to do is we need you to come. We're going to put a little chip in you. Now, if you refuse this chip, you're no longer a citizen. Matter of fact, you've got to live in this man camp. You can't buy anything. You can't sell anything. All the time with tangible evidence that aliens really exist. They're not aliens. They're Elohim. They're fallen angels. You know, when I'm sitting there and I'm studying all this stuff, I look over to my little bookcase and there's 30,000 handwritten words of dreams that God gave me 10 years ago that describe all of this crazy stuff. So I know it's real. I believe that the world's only been here 6,000 years. I believe that everything that was created is told by God in Scripture. I have no choice because any time I ever try to substantiate or justify any behavior working outside of God's word, my life become a mess. <coughs> These are not aliens. They are watchers, ranking and ruling, fallen Elohim, their principalities. The Catholic Church, along with most major evangelical ministries, will endorse this. I mean, <laughs> you just got to do a little study. You got to do a little digging. These Elohim will say that they serve the Lord God Jehovah, but they will be serving Satan himself. But they'll look like angels of light. I mean, you see them little kids with their belly swelled out and they ain't got nothing to eat? They're going to be able to solve that. All this virus stuff we're having, man, this little chip is going to take care of all that stuff. You're never going to get sick. Y'all going to live to be 300 years old. <coughs> and for three and a half years, things are going to look good. You say, well, Ron, aren't we gone? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be gone. I do believe in the rapture. I just don't know when it's going to take place. When I look at Scripture, I, I can substantiate before, in the middle, and after. I, I, I don't know. I just know i got to be ready. I know i got to have this knowledge. I know God wants us proclaiming this message. So when this does happen, people are aware instead of lining up and getting a mark. How hard is it going to be? How much faith are you going to have to have to let your kids go on? <laughs> Seriously, come on, tell me. How much faith are you going to have to have to let your kids go without any food for three days without getting a mark? I mean, see, think about it. You better have some faith. You better be prayed up. Say, well, I'd never do it. You can't even get up and come to church on Sunday morning. You're going to refuse a mark. Come on. We've got the intestinal fortitude of a gnat. For the day will not come unless the rebellion, the following way, the apostasy, the affection to forsake. Then God sends them a strong delusion. It's a delusion. It's a lie. Slow feeding us the information. The book of Enoch, along with other ancient books, such as the Sumerian creation story, will be used to establish and support the lies of the Antichrist. We, we are not to be what? Ignorant of his schemes. Ignorant of his devices. I mean, it, this is real. Everything 
everything is happening is setting us up for this. The mark of the beast sobs, crying. If I can't walk into a store and rob somebody, what, what does that do to crime? If I can't take cash and go buy dope, what does that do to crime if I hit cash? If I'm able to solve the, the plagues of the world, what does that do? Think about it. If I know where everybody's at at all times, I can't kill nobody without getting caught. What does that do to crime? How, how effective would knowing where everybody is at all times be at stopping human trafficking? I mean, the, the fastest growing industry in the world right now is the sale of 13 and 14 year old boys. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Human trafficking is, uh, it is going past the drug trade. The selling of kids for sex is exceeding the market. And I know we like to live in our little mogul world, but it's, it's kids are getting snatched up left and right. It's real. It's real. I don't like to think about it either, but it's real. All them problems get solved. All the problems get solved. It's going to be an awesome sales pitch. And if you're not where you belong with the Lord, you won't take that $10,000 stimulus check because they're going to offer some money with it. You're going to run down there and get in line at the DMV. You're going to get you more. Not if we're aware. Not if we're prayed up. Not if we're not ignorant of His schemes. Y'all ready? We want to open the altars this time. <clears throat> for anybody that needs to pray. I know this ain't... I find this stuff incredibly interesting. Myself. But we want to open it up and for anybody that wants to... Anybody that needs to pray. It's funny you say 10,000. Me and my buddy at work were talking about all that. And he was like, that's what we need, another stimulus check. I said, yeah, they need to give you 10,000. They need to give everybody 10,000. Yeah. <laughs>